Hello, this is GrooviePost.com's Groove Dexter. In this quick article, we're going to take a look at downloading, installing, and setting up Gmail Notifier. So let's go to the gmailnotifier.com website and get started. Now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and click the Download Now link. See the option to run or save. I'm going to go ahead and save it to my desktop for easy access. And then click the Run button once it's done. You'll see a security pop-up, just click yes, this program's safe, and then you'll see the Gmail notifier setup wizard. Click next, click install. Pretty simple and self-explanatory. Uh, now you see the run Gmail notifier, make sure that's checked, and then we'll click finish. And Gmail notifier should boot itself up in a second here. We can close the browser. Now the Gmail notifier is open, we can go ahead and click English, because that's what language I'm speaking right now, or if you have a different language, go ahead and feel free to say it. Then we're going to enter the email address we want to use. Now it has to be a Gmail address is the only thing. Once you insert that, click OK. And you might have heard that it says incoming message if you have a new mail. So right now it's showing I have four new mails. Now this will only display new mail. It won't display old mail. So let's go ahead and look at one of these messages. If you click on the subject or on the uh, person it's from, it'll open up the message in Gmail Notifier and just give you a little preview. It won't display any images or anything fancy, but it's uh, it's enough to know if you need to open up your actual account and look at it. Um, then you also have the ability to click on a message and then say mark it red. And it'll mark it as red in both the Gmail Notifier and in your actual Gmail account. It's kind of nice. If you go back, then you can, uh, it'll show now it shows three that are unread. And then if you go down to your system tray, you'll see the Gmail icon. You can right click on it and you can add additional accounts, remove an account, check it now just in case it's not updating fast enough for you, change your language, and then there's a preference uh, area where you can change your preferences. I personally like the run at startup option, so it'll automatically boot up each time you load Windows. Well, thank you for checking out this art article on Gmail Notifier, and if you have any questions, please visit groovypost.com. Thank you very much. Have a groovy day.